So today we're going to take care of this badly neglected water softening system. It's a pretty standard system. Have this big white tank on the left, which is the brine tank. This tall black tank, which isn't really supposed to be black, is the mineral tank. And then up top you have the control valve and this gray line is the discharge or the backwash line. You can see this thing's pretty filthy. Let's take a look inside the brine tank. And it's empty except for a tiny bit of water. First thing we're going to do is add some of this water softener cleanser. It's the perfect time to do it because this brine tank is empty of salt. So we're going to just pour this in here. A bottle. This is a one time use. And we're going to force the system to regenerate by holding down the regeneration button. And now it kicked on. It's going to take water from the brine tank, run it back through the mineral tank, and flush it out. Okay, the regeneration has finished. In this system it took about an hour and you'll notice that that black tank is no longer black. While it was in regeneration mode I took the time to clean it. It was definitely not black mold because as we all know if it had been black mold we'd have to call in the EPA, the DEP, the National Guard to clean that up simple solution of ammonia and white vinegar took care of it. I'm sure you all remember from your high school biology class, microbes are very sensitive to changes in pH, which vinegar is mild acid. So that took care of that. The water level is down significantly and that blue tint that you see is what's left of the cleaning solution. We're now going to take the brine tank outside and clean it. It's much easier to do it outside than it is inside. I'm going to take out the siphon slash fill, fill rod and just hang it over here out of the way. I'm going to carry the tank outside. Now that we're outside with a little bit better light, you can see just how disgusting this is. Need to clean that up. Okay, I'm going to remove this nut and screw to take the pipe out that protects the siphon fill tube from the salt when we fill the system. And it's 
full of disgusting water, so we'll start cleaning. Great screen, whatever you want to call it, sits at the bottom of the tank and keeps the salt from going all the way down. So if you can get that out to clean it, definitely make for a better job. And now you can see a much cleaner system. Now we just have to go reinstall it. The tube goes back in, side back tube. Make sure it's seated all the way. And now for some salt. back on and now we'll force it into regeneration again to prime the system and get some water in the brine tank. And that's it. That's all there is to cleaning up your water softening system and getting it back to a good working condition.